What a beautiful day. The sun is out, it's not too hot, and I've gathered all of my equipment, and I'm looking forward to spending the afternoon in the garden drawing and painting. <laughs> Well, here we go, literally down the garden path. I always love taking a look at other people's gardens. So many are so well tended. Oh, look at here are our nasturtiums. Beautiful. Beautiful. And look at those leaves. I've got quite a few of them up on the rooftop that I am going to make chips out of. Basically, all you do is wash them and then let them dry, coat them with some olive oil, and then throw on a few spices, maybe some garlic, a little bit of salt. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing the paintings of these. But let's get to the garden so that we can do a few more drawings and paintings round the corner and in through the gate. What a sight for sore eyes. I just love it in here. Oh, the bees playing on the flowers. Over to the table we go, get ourselves set up. Let's get everything gathered up. I've got my drawing equipment in the Kate Spade bag. Painting boxes in the Furoshiki. Paper is in the portfolio case. I've gathered up some squash blossoms, a few tomatoes, some winter savory from the plant behind me to the left, and I've got some bee balm, Let's just put it in my cap so I can carry it over without fear of it all getting smushed. Getting started, I've got my friend the zucchini leaves peering over the table trying to see what I'm doing. And I've got some of the zucchini blossoms. I've been able to pick a few tomatoes and I've got an echinacea flower. Yeah, funny thing about the tomatoes, I was talking to my friend who helps me in the garden. I hadn't told her that I'd been drawing her tomatoes, and she let me know that she'd gotten a lot of work done in the garden, and she ripped out all the tomato plants yesterday, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. So I was not able to come back and get any more reference drawings from her side of the garden um, but fortunately there were some tomatoes over on my side that I was able to use as a reference so it all worked out and so I am really relaxed and enjoying this drawing I've started very very light just put a doodle down to start a gesture of sorts to figure out where things are in my composition and I'm not sticking to reality I've designed things to fit on the paper the way I want them to and be the size I want them to be but keeping it light as I begin so I'm not overworking in any of the areas and I don't have my eraser with me. So I have to keep it light. And I've been thinking about a lot of embroidery ideas. And I say that because all of these botanicals are reminding me of the couture course I took around this time last year where we were learning how to 
bead and do various stitches. And every time I look at the produce in the garden, I see them down on a piece of embroidery. And so I've got a few of these drawings that I'll be using for that. I'm looking forward to working with this a little bit later in the fall once I've got a bit more time. And I've been coming up with some jewelry ideas as well. So using silver to frame some of these pieces that I'll be doing in silk and beading and creating little brooches that are also going to be pendants. And I think I've come up with a design that I can work with that will also incorporate them in the form of a ring with the little pop-ins being able to be put behind in the frame. Okay, so here we are back to reality and doing a few of the bee balm leaves. I think that's what I'm working on right now when I'm up in the top corner there. The little teeth. and the lovely form of the leaf. Yep, not much longer left in the garden. I always find it sad at this time of the year knowing that we're going into winter, the cold, hard winter. I've not enjoyed winter very much and I am going to change the way I look at it this year. I've made a decision to list out things I enjoy doing in the winter so that I'm going to have them on hand. I will post them right in front of my face. And I was thinking of things like all the different kinds of soups I like to make. And so I'm going to go through recipe books and I'm going to have different soups ready to make that I'm going to enjoy having the same way that I enjoy all of the different teas that I make during the winter. They really get me through. Um, so I'm going to explore different foods that heat up the house that I don't do in the summertime. And I'm also going to consciously remember that I really enjoy making jewelry in the winter. In the summer, I'm less inclined to pull out the torches and start fusing and soldering. So even just being consciously aware of the things I'm enjoying, I think will help me get through the winter a little bit more easily. Last year, I started to do it and I got to mid-February. Okay, now I know I need to make it until mid-May when I can start going out in the roof and really spending time out there with putting plants in and taking down the greenhouse walls and pulling things out. The citrus trees need it to be a little bit warmer. I'm going to have to bring those in for the winter and I've got a plan for the south window for them and that's going to be happening pretty soon putting the gardens both to rest well i think we're done get up and stretch my legs <laughs> well, that felt good getting a bit of a leg stretch i think i might go for a walk take a look at some of the other gardens before i go back to work Here's the start of the drawing. I couldn't help but come back and take another look at the nasturtium. I'm really looking forward to finishing the paintings of them. Look at this sea of them here. So beautiful. I've got a lot on my roof as well. I want to make some pesto. I don't know about you, but I find nasturtium pesto a bit too peppery. And I have ways of bringing it down a notch or two. Whoa. Look at these sunflowers. Oh, look at the bees. Oh, beautiful. Well, 
I think it's time for me to get back to my garden and I'll finish up the drawing and do maybe a little painting. We'll see. Bye bees. I've been working for a while now and I think it's time to go home. Things are starting to wilt. I want to get them into water and I'll continue working from home. It's been a good day. I even got some paintings done. We'll just get this painting box back into the furrow shaky and get the little box of inches in there. I've got a lot of drawings to work with when I get back as well. Okay, and so the pilgrimage begins back out of the allotment.